Hey guys, and welcome back to The Lucid Nightmare. I'm your host as always, Jay Schatzer, and today I've got a fantastic giallo lined up for us. It is Emilio Miraglia's 1971 great, great giallo flick. It is The Night Evelyn Came Out of the Grave. And guys, if you haven't seen this one, it's a real treat. So let's dive right into this one. Here is The Night Evelyn Came Out of the Grave. The Night Evelyn Came Out of the Grave is a fantastically atmospheric giallo film directed by Italian genre filmmaker Emilio Miraglia. Drenched in perversion and sadistic to boot, the film focuses on the iconic archetypes of the genre, like sex, murder, and mystery. The film follows the sordid life of Lord Alan Cunningham, a recently widowed man who battles a madness that forces him to torture and murder young beautiful prostitutes in order to forget the infidelity of his now deceased redheaded wife. Desperately trying to cling to his sanity, Alan eventually meets a captivating woman named Gladys, who serves to temper his wild sickness, but for how long? Suspicion, intrigue, and a hefty inheritance all come into play once Alan marries Gladys, and Alan's extended family begins vying to be the beneficiaries of his wealthy estate. Will Alan be able to hold off the madness in his sick and twisted mind? Or is there something more sinister behind his visions and bloodlust? Anthony Stephan takes on the tortured role of Lord Alan Cunningham, the well-to-do psycho who only wants to find love. Romantically demented, Stephan makes the role his own as he puts an equal amount of effort into being sympathetic as he does being sadistic. The duality of his character is quite a haunting mixture, making you feel both disgusted by his actions but understanding of his fractured mental state. Stefan throws himself entirely into the role as he falls in and out of madness, while also injecting an infectious amount of charisma into his bipolar character. He carries a great deal of the film and does it with great ease and unexpected results. Paired up with Anthony Stefan is Marina Malfatti as the newly wedded Gladys Cunningham. Extremely beautiful and outrageously sympathetic, Malfatti brings a miraculously acute sense of validity to her role often threatening to steal the show when she is eventually brought onto the scene. Visually speaking, she's completely breathtaking, but what makes her stand out the most is her intense screen presence and her unusual position within the story's narrative. Being quickly married to Lord Allen and whisked off to an unfamiliar and wealthy world, you find yourself rooting for her as she begins to delve deeper into the mystery of Allen's past and the horrors that wait there. The anticipation for answers is astounding, and Gladys's determined sleuthing is a real treat to watch play out, as the rug is eventually pulled out from our feet in the most unusual and jarring of ways. That is one thing that is really commendable about The Night Evelyn Came Out of the Grave, and that is that the film really is unpredictable. You truly have no idea what will happen next, even though it seems rather straightforward for most of the runtime. It's in the waning last portions of the film that things really start to shake up and force us to question everything that we've seen prior. The genius of this approach really reflects well off of the madness that Alan is struggling through, and it makes for a perfect setup that just screams giallo. The elements are all there, a secluded and expansive old estate, visions of a long-deceased loved one haunting the grounds, and a wild array of curious characters residing within the manor all provide the perfect ingredients for a wild Italian thrill ride that relishes in its thick atmosphere and demented nature. The Night Evelyn Came Out of the Grave is an outstanding example of the giallo genre. It's almost exclusively mean-spirited in its delivery, yet it also surprisingly shows a great deal of heart and compassion in its characters. Strangely enough, it's those same characters that like the bipolar nature of the narrative 
often tend to delve into maddening territory, proving that not everyone is who they appear to be. It's a devilishly delicious premise, topped off with some outstanding performances by Anthony Steffen, Marina Malfatti, and the rest of the cast. When it comes to under-the-radar Italian giallo films, Emilio Miraglia's The Night Evelyn Came Out of the Grave is one for the record books. It's got the perfect morbid flavor that makes these type of films so intriguing, and the twisted outlook of the movie is just tremendously demented and expertly presented. Check this one out if you like your films super sadistic and wholly unpredictable. The Night Evelyn Came Out of the Grave is a ghostly giallo filled with ghastly goodness. And guys, that is the fantastic The Night Evelyn Came Out of the Grave. Just a great giallo, and it's just tremendously unpredictable, like I said. You really have no idea what's going to happen at the very end of this film. It really just throws you for a loop and questions your sanity. But guys, that is it for me today. Hope you enjoyed that giallo review, and I hope you like what I'm doing here. If you do, please like and subscribe. And if you have time, leave a comment below because I'd love to hear from you. But until then, guys, I will see you at the next movie review. Take care.